In today's show, we have more information about FFA's chicken coops, Battle of the Bands, and what you guys have planned for spring break. I'm Jordan. And I'm Cameron. This is SBTV. FFA's chicken coops have many benefits. Let's check it out. <laughs> Seaman High School's FFA recently received a grant for a new chicken coop. The new coop has been providing eggs for many at Seaman High School. So the Viking Warriors get the first choice. They usually will do baking with them. Um, they like to bake cookies in their classroom and then they will go around and sell them. Not only are the Viking Warriors baking with the eggs, but our SHS cooking classes have been benefiting from them too. Uh, we've been using the eggs from the chicken coop in class just when we're doing our different labs. So anytime we need eggs, I just send me and Gordon a message to see if she has eggs and it benefits the class because I don't have to buy them when I go to the grocery store. Many schools don't get to use farm fresh eggs and Ms. Van Gordon is happy SHS students get to experience this. So it's really cool that the school actually gets to have farm fresh eggs um, in their cooking classes. Uh, it's a, something that the kids, that a lot of schools don't get to experience as farm fresh eggs in their actual classes. Plus it's just really fun for the students who actually get to take care of the chickens and they get to experience things firsthand. The chickens have been producing plenty of eggs and are providing for many groups and classes around the school. It was really cool today to be able to use all of our eggs to be able to cook the teachers breakfast and like all the teachers were like, no way, you used your own eggs. It was just, it was really cool to be able to tell them that like our chickens provided all of them for, all of these for them. If you have not stopped to take a look at the new chicken coop, be sure to stop by and welcome the chickens to our school. That's excellent. Did you go to Battle of the Bands? I did, it was a great time. If you didn't go, here's what you missed out on. On February 25th, SHS hosted the second annual Battle of the Bands. SVTV caught up with a few of the performers about how their night went. Okay, well, I think that um, the Untamed Mustangs did uh, amazing. We were um, definitely uh, came ready to rock. Uh, we have a kind of a real kind of a garage rock type of sound, and uh, we kind of I think we felt we pushed that to the limits. I felt like we did really well. I felt like the crowd was really into it um, and really responded well to our performance. I felt like we went hard in the paint. It was great. Oh, we definitely had a fun time. Um, yeah, we're already trying to develop our set list for next year. Um, I just like to tell anyone, any freshman, sophomore, junior, um, anybody who's going to be here next year. Um, get a band together, get ready, because the third annual Battle of the Bands is coming. Um, we got second, and I think we went out there and played our hardest and just brought the crowd. Yeah, we, I think we had a blast playing, and i um, not sure if it'll be the same band, but we'll make a new band for Battle of the Bands. Not only was Battle of the Bands a fun night, but it raised money for the Hefner Foundation. Being, I think we miscounted a little bit, plus we had um, some early ticket sales that we had thought were a little bit higher. So we ended up right at 18, 18.40 for that night, $1,840, so a little bit less. Thank you to everyone who came out and supported Battle of the Bands. Plan on coming next year to the third annual Battle of the Bands. I missed out on a good time. Now, on to the rest of your announcements. The Shawnee County Law Enforcement Agencies will be cracking down driving. This will continue until March 8th. Officers will be focusing on the roads near the high school and citations will be issued for those who are not buckled up. We have Allie with more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Officer Fair to talk about the SAFE program. So what exactly is it? SAFE program stands for Seatbelts Are For Everyone. Uh, it's basically uh, um, started due to an agency having a large uh, amount of teenage kids who were being killed in traffic accidents and not wearing their seat belts. So this uh, sheriff at that agency started the program, tried to get it statewide, and it uh, is going pretty much statewide now. It's basically uh, um, just trying to get kids to wear their seat belts and stay safe while they're out on the roadway. So what have they been doing around the high school? Uh, every year there's a survey 
uh, a two-part survey. One is at the beginning of the school year, the other one is at the end of the school year. And we go out and we survey and just watch to see if kids are wearing their seatbelts or not. We uh, keep track of all that data. We turn it into the state and then the second part of that uh, data collection is at the end of the school year and we see if there's a difference with the seatbelt percentage of kids wearing their seatbelts or not. During that time frame there's a uh, law enforcement period time. It's a two-week state of Kansas statewide thing where officers will come to area high schools and check and write tickets for kids not wearing seatbelts and that has been going on last week and this week. Awesome. Make sure and buckle up, bikes. Now back to your anchors. Make sure you're staying safe. If your parents are interested in helping with Afterglow, tell them to check Schoology. There are several scholarships available. Check Schoology for more information and make sure you meet those deadlines. If you like math and science, then here's an opportunity for you. There's a summer STEM high school internship program where you will work alongside the top engineers and scientists in a fun and challenging environment. Check Schoology to apply and join. On Saturday, March 23rd, the Seaman Art Department will be hosting an all-day art field trip to Wichita. Stop by and grab a permission slip from any art teacher to, if you're interested, and return it to Mr. LaDuke no later than Wednesday, March 20th. Everyone is welcome to shop at the Topeka North Prom Closet at Northland Christian Church on Saturday, March 23rd from 10 to 2. Anyone with donations may drop them off at the church main entrance on Sunday, March 17th, 1 to 3, or Friday, March 22nd, 4 to 6.30. Contact Crystal Schaefer with questions. Tuesdays and Thursdays are double punch days for the Viking Brew Coffee Shop. Be sure to pick up a punch card at your next visit. Ten punches and you get a free coffee. Mr. Johnson from SMS needs student volunteers to help host their Middle School Scholars Bowl meet on April 3rd. It would begin after school at the middle school and last a few hours. Please email or stop by the library to let Ms. Metner know if you are interested. Now let's get on over to the sports after this commercial break. All right, first things first, you're going to have to log in to ESPN.com and then click on men's basketball and click on tournament challenge. And then from here, you're going to want to click on my groups, scroll down a piece, then you're going to want to search up SBTV Bracket. And then once you find it, click on the guy. And then click on Join Group. Then type in the password, which is Password with a capital P. Then click the little check mark. And then push My Groups. And you're in. That's it. Good job. So go join now, because it's March Madness, baby, yeah, March Madness. The Lady Vikes season came to an end last night. They had a tough battle against McPherson. Congrats on having a great season. Seaman softball apparel is available. Check Schoology for more information. Congrats to our men's and women's bowling teams. The girls finished as state runner-ups last Thursday, and the boys won the state championship. Way to go, Vikes. Seaman landed four wrestlers on the All-City Wrestling second team and also several honorable mentions. Congrats to those boys. Students that are interested in trying out for cheerleading but were unable to attend the meeting may, kept, may pick up tryout packets in the front office or Coach Geis, Sands, or Hertz classrooms. Tryout materials are due March 21st at 3.05 with tryouts on March 23rd. Make sure you fill out your SVTV brackets. March Madness will start the Tuesday we get back from break. Now let's see what Josh Rosaline Duncan has in store with the weather. Happy Thursday to you. We do have a couple of storm systems on the way that could impact you in a big way. So let's take a look first at your weather headlines that are carrying us through the next seven days. Some warmer days are out ahead of us, even this morning wasn't nearly as cold of a start as the past couple days. Then our next storm chance moves in by Saturday morning and also a wet system, very wet, potentially early to middle part of next week. So we're going to take a look at all of those rain chances here in the next few minutes. Starting off Friday night, we should be mostly dry, but it's not until after midnight that we start to see some showers. This could be light to moderate, maybe at times heavy rain, especially with any embedded thunderstorms through early Saturday morning. But by the late morning and early afternoon hours, 
we should begin to dry out and also clear out. That also means an increase in the wind speeds. Winds could gust 30 to 45 miles per hour throughout the first half of your weekend, so be prepared for that. In addition, the Storm Prediction Center still monitoring the risk for some severe weather. It's going to be an isolated risk in far eastern Kansas, but we can't completely rule out some damaging winds as the thunderstorms roll through. By far the greater risk should stay off to our southeast. Then the next weather maker comes in Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. This one looks like it could provide over an inch of moisture for many areas across northeast Kansas. So that's the next one we'll be tracking coming up next Tuesday and Wednesday. Also, I spoke about the warmer weather. The camel is going to be enjoying it. We'll give it a 6 out of 10. They have been dreading this colder weather, but with the warmer weather moving in, they'll also have plenty to drink. So let's check out the seven-day forecast for you as a whole. 44 degrees for today. We do climb to 53 by Saturday along with those storms and some windy weather. Then there comes that next system for next week. Also, how about this weather bringing us six consecutive snow days from this Friday all the way through next Friday. Enjoy your spring break, Vikes. Now, Cameron and Jordan, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Hope you have a dandy spring break. Let's see what you guys are up to. Hey guys, it's Cameron. We went around asking you guys what your plans are for spring break. What are your plans over this spring break? I'm so excited. I'm going to St. Louis and we're going to go to the Botanical Gardens and the City Museum and then the farmstead. What's the name of the farmstead? Grant's Farmstead and that'll be so fun. And then I get to take a tour with one of the experts at the Horticultural Gardens and it's going to be amazing. And then I'm going to come home and practice with my swim team. Yeah, girls swim team. And then I'm going to Key Club over the next weekend. We're going to our decon, which will be super fun and I'm going to prove that I am a better driver than Mr. Crummy. Swim practice. Gotta get those gains. <laughs> what do you think Josh Duncan is doing over spring break? I'm probably gonna be watching the weather, weather channels. We're going to South Padre and my foreign exchange student, Pietro, his family from Italy is coming over, so we get to meet his entire family. I'm going to Colorado to watch volleyball. Who are you watching play volleyball? You. Uh, Maddie Steiner is going skiing with me, and we're going to have a competition to see who can push who further down the hill. What are you doing for spring break? I'll be grinding out on my business plan all spring break long for Mr. Hoffman's. Well, I'm going to Las Vegas, and when I get back, I plan to run the track, get some good practice in for uh, the track team. Uh, I'm going to Greece. <laughs> Why are you going to Greece? Because um, we had the opportunity from Mr. McAllister, and I thought it would be a good trip to go on during spring break. So what are your plans over spring break? Mm, nothing. Okay, what do you think Josh Duncan is doing over spring break? Looking at the sky.